top five softwares for architects. These softwares, if you know all of these, then well and good. But some of these softwares are valid in some of the regions. I will be talking about all those regions where these softwares are used. And if you are going or planning to go in these countries, you should know this specific software. So this video will be a very informative video. If you are planning to go for your masters or go for your jobs abroad, because this will increase the likelihood of you being hired in those specific country. So without any delays, guys, let's get started with the video. So on number one, I have Rhino. If you are an architecture designer or if you want to go purely into designing or computational design or parametric designing, then I would say Rhino is the software for you. And most of the companies here in North America are using Rhino to develop their initial models and develop their 3D models. So you can go ahead and check out Rhino. Next software is a complementary software with Rhino that if you are going or planning for computational design, it is a must that you should know this. This software name is Grasshopper. It's a plugin that attaches along with Rhino and this plugin actually helps you control the 3D geometry inside Rhino. It gives you a capability to control how your structures will be moving, how your structures will be shaped and so on and so forth. Grasshopper is not only used for that, but the primary feature of Grasshopper is to control geometry and give you a high amount of control over your model. So this software goes along with Rhino and is very, very critical if you are going into computational design. Next software on my list is something that you all know about. It's called Revit. Revit is a software that is from Autodesk. It's the same company which has produced AutoCAD. So Revit is a software that enables you to use BIM very efficiently and most of the country around the world are using Revit for their work and purposes. So if you are looking to go into the BIM industry or looking for going for a job in North America or Australia, then Revit is the software for you because a lot of companies are using Revit here in North America, Australia, India. So if you are planning like that, if you are planning for these countries, then go ahead, start learning Revit because companies will hire you looking at what your software skills are. Next software on my list is Twinmotion and Enscape. I'm sure a lot of you will be commenting that Twinmotion and Enscape are not the best software out there, but this is not about the best rendering software, but this is about the most widely used rendering softwares out there. So what is going on right now over here is Twinmotion has been collaborating with Autodesk. So if a company has a Revit license, they automatically get Twinmotion license along with it. So a lot of company here in North America are switching on to Twinmotion because of a lot of features that Twinmotion gives. And second reason is the free license that they already have. So if you know these softwares, companies will look at you as if like, okay, he, he checks the box of Revit, he checks the box of Twinmotion. He knows the necessary softwares that we already use. So they don't have to teach you anything else. So that's the reason people are switching to Twinmotion and other half of the people are using Enscape for their visualization purpose. Enscape has also integrated fully with Revit because if you know Enscape window opens directly into Revit, there is a live sync. The model upgrades instantly. You can use VR in Enscape, which is ready to go VR. You don't have to add extra additional accessories to use VR for Enscape. For Twinmotion, you need to have a tethered connection. Tethered connection, basically you need a cable that is a very specified cable to connect your VR glasses to the computer and then you can view models into Twinmotion. But these are the two rendering softwares that you should look forward to if, if 
you are coming to North American region and even European region. Next software on my list is Archicad. So this software is exactly similar to Revit. I wouldn't say exactly, not 100% similar, but almost 80-90% similar to Revit. It also enables you to use BIM interface. So a lot of European countries are using Archicad. So if you are planning for European countries, I would say look for Archicad, learn Archicad and then go ahead with it. I think so France still uses Revit more than Archicad, but you can do a basic research or just a basic Google search what software or what BIM software or 3D modeling software is used in Europe or whichever country you are going in Europe. So Archicad is also an alternative. Very few firm in India are using Archicad, but I know personally few of the firms, they do use Archicad. So if you are planning something like that or a company specific software, then Archicad should be your option. But if you're planning something in North America, Australia, then I would say just stick to Revit or Autodesk softwares because majority of the firms are still using them. And some core softwares that you must know or you will know are AutoCAD. AutoCAD has been the legacy software because of which Autodesk industry has become what it has become right now. So AutoCAD is something that you will know. I'm assuming you will know if you are an architecture student. So Archicad is one of the core software. Second software is uh, SketchUp. It is also a very easy software, 3D modeling software. So if you're a student and if you're looking at this video, then I would say just close your eyes, learn AutoCAD and SketchUp the first because they will help you a lot in your journey throughout your architecture college because in architecture college, you probably don't need that level of detail that uh, Revit has, but you need a software to model something quick. So these are the two software for students. And if you are in second or third year, I would say, please start learning Revit or Archicad or something related to BIM software because it will help you grow further and uh, increase, of course, increase your possibility to get hired in a bigger firm. Or if you are focusing totally into computational designing, parametric architecture or hardcore designer job, if you're looking for, I would say close your eyes, go ahead for uh, Rhino and Grasshopper along with it so that you will become a complete package for some company who wants to hire an architecture designer and who wants to hire someone who can work on parametric structure. So these are the overview of the softwares that you have to know if you are going for a certain kind of job that I have already explained. So go ahead, look for these softwares, learn these software. There are ton of data available on YouTube. There are ton of data that are available on LinkedIn learning as well. So these are the two platforms that I usually use to learn or Coursera is also a good site where you can go ahead and check out few of the courses that they have. So yeah, so guys, that was all for today's video. I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please go ahead, hit a like and subscribe to my channel. I keep making these videos just for you so that you can grow, so that I can grow people in our community. Together, we can grow and make this architecture community stronger. So go ahead, hit a like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon, guys. Bye-bye.